Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celeb Perfume Reviews. So today I'm back again with another review for you guys, and today it is for Frankie by Ariana Grande. The brand new fragrance released this year, 2016, and is a limited edition fragrance, and is the first um, spin-off to the original Ari. So the box looks like this. On the front it says, this is the front, sorry. On the front it says Frankie by Ariana Grande. Um, white box, black writing, black box, white writing with like the white strip. And then on the bottom it says Eau de Parfum Spray 1.7 ounce 50 milliliters. This looks like that. The side just says Ariana Grande Frankie. And the side says Ariana Grande Frankie. Um, and then the back, which is this one, has the same as the front, but just reversed. So, like that. And then the top just says Ariana Grande Frankie. Um, very, like, 1980s is kind of the aspect I get off of this. Very, like, ultra-chic, ultra-modern. But it's cool how, like, they did it. Um, definitely kind of cool because also, like, all the words are, like, on the sides they're raised. Or they're, like, raised but on the sides or the top and front they're, like, embedded. So it's really, really cool. So, notes for this fragrance. Actually, it helps if I tell you. Let me get the notes up. But... So, the bottle looks like this this time, and is like a super silver reflective metallic color with a black pom-pom. And it's just like the original Ari bottle. So, there was the original, there's Frankie. Um, this only does come in a 1.7 ounce and is a very, very limited edition perfume. I know it's currently available at Ulta, which is where I got mine, like online. And it is available on Macy's.com, Lord & Taylor. It's available at Shoppers Drug Mart in the UK, and will be going on... A website in the UK relatively soon, I believe. I know it's on pre-order right now. So this is 100ml of Ari and this is a 50ml of Frankie. They have that same kind of geometric design. That it just seems like this one you can tell a little bit better since it's not clear. Like this one. So, notes for this one this time are top notes of pink pepper, pear, apricot. Middle notes are wild orchid and cedarwood. With base notes of sandalwood, musk, and sugar crystals. So this fragrance is... It's not supposed to have a gender um, classification, it's gender inclusive, meaning it can be worn by all. Um, it is an eau de parfum, so it's a little bit different, but it isn't for women, for men. It is a fragrance for everyone to love and enjoy. So definitely kind of a cool concept I love behind it, because gender, in my, in my opinion, as you guys know with all the perfume I have, I don't feel like gender roles should be played into perfume. I don't like when it says for women or for men because I feel like that's tying it to someone. And I know women like female perfumes and I know that men like female perfumes. I know that some there's some women who like male perfumes. So it is what it is. I love that Lux Brands did it this time with no gender boundaries on it because it's really cool that they did it that way. So when you first spray this fragrance you get that first kind of like Burst of the pear. I do get the pear um, and the apricot, so it kind of gives like a super fruity um, opening. But that pink pepper is there enough to give it kind of like a masculine edge without it being super masculine like male fragrances are. Um, once it starts to dry down, you get the wild orchid and the cedar wood. So kind of the heart kind of has a little bit of a floral um, woody note, but that top is still there. Um, once you start to get down to the base, you get, um, make sure I pull these off right, sandalwood, musk, and sugar crystals. So, what I find really, really cool about this fragrance is it's very similar to Ari, um, but they changed, excuse me, they changed the notes to match a more masculine edge. Um, I definitely feel what's cool about this fragrance is I wore them both side by side yesterday. I put Frankie on one wrist and Ari on the other, and... I would go back and forth and smell them both because Ari is like the sweeter, funner, fruitier version, or like fresher, funner version. Uh, Frankie's a little bit more warmer, a little bit more toned down, still super fruity, still, still that kind of like sweetness because that sugar crystal is the standout um, note throughout this fragrance, kind of like how um, the marshmallow was in Ari. So this one I definitely get like the, the apricot, pear and sugar crystals versus Ari where I got the marshmallow, 
the raspberry and the pear. So I definitely get similarities. Um, and it's not like it's a super warm sugar to note that I get and it's not like a super sticky sweet or anything like that which I find really really nice that they kept it warm and cozy. Lasting power I get about eight hours on it eight to ten hours um it did last longer than Ari when I was going back and forth and smelling them I could I could faintly smell Ari but I could still really smell Frankie at about the eight hour mark and then about the ten hour mark I could still smell Frankie but I couldn't really smell Ari at all anymore so Definitely feel like this is another signature scent similar to how Ari was. It can definitely be worn by anyone at any point in time, any time of the day. Day, night, morning, evening, whatever. Um, I don't know if this is necessarily a going out scent, but if you were to say Ari was your signature scent, I feel like Frankie could be your nighttime going out scent. I definitely feel like they could be layered. They do layer very well and kind of blend into a very soft, sweet, fruity perfume that there's not really a whole lot of difference between Ari and Frankie that they can't combine without notes clashing. So, but they are different in their own ways. If you didn't like Ari because you maybe felt like it was too sweet, I would definitely give um, Frankie a try because Frankie is... A little bit more warm, a little bit more toned down, not as sweet. So, definitely guys, there is my review of Frankie by Ariana Grande. Um, like I said, this fragrance, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I had noticed some things kind of posting on Twitter and Instagram and stuff when this first got announced. So this fragrance was made by Ariana Grande um, with collaborations of her brother. The fragrances did represent their dynamic duo and their dynamic like relationship that the two of them have the fragrance wasn't done solely by frankie um i know i kind of saw some stuff saying that frankie ripped off ari and all this other stuff which they love each other they're amazing sister brother duo that is an i mean amazing relationship between those two so with frankie wearing ari as much as he did when uh ari first came out before it got released there was a lot of talk about how he wore it a lot um she made this fragrance with him so it would be a little bit more masculine up so he would have another fragrance to wear. So there is my review of Frankie by Ariana Grande. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and, ins and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below, like always. If you guys have any requests for future videos, please don't hesitate to comment below. I will definitely do my best to do them. So thanks, guys, so much for watching. Bye.